recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders' right in Australia's constitution. On 18 August 2023, several organizations gathered in Adelaide, Australia to campaign for the recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders right in the country's constitution. The campaign's objective was to encourage Australian citizens to vote yes in the upcoming October referendum. During the campaign event, prominent speakers and representatives shared their views on the importance of recognizing the right of Aboriginal, Torres Strait and Islanders community within Australia's constitution. Assalamu alaikum, dosta, kauma, yara, watandara. Uh, my name is Muzaffar Ali. Muzaffar Ali Astom. I am Hazara from Afghanistan. Uh, I support Yes campaign uh, and uh, my friends also support Yes campaign. We formed a group, it's called Hazaras for Yes. We faced uh, discrimination, racism, loss, uh, genocide, and now we are here in Australia uh, in a safe place. We call it home. And uh, here, the uh, First Nations people, the Aboriginal people, the Torres Strait Islanders, are uh, looking for a voice or proposing for a voice in the constitution which come from the Uluru uh, statement uh, from Uluru and we say yes to this proposal. We say yes because we feel the pain, we feel the loss and this is our responsibility. We have just two choices, yes or no. 80% of the First Nations people are in favor of this yes campaign. So we join this because uh, our First Nations people welcomed us uh, open arm and we joined them with this campaign. Uh, I represent uh, the uh, group Hazaras for Yes. We formed this national group very recently to join uh, the campaign for Yes. Uh, we have been advocating for Yes, uh, the voice of our First Nations people in uh, constitution. We have formed our groups in all states and territories. We knock the doors, we send these posters, and we uh, go to the mosque, we talk to our people and say why we support YES campaign. So uh, the support for YES is overwhelming in our community. Please join this campaign. This is how we can be part of this modern Australian society where everything is fair. We go and move forward and uh, join our Aboriginal people, Aboriginal brothers, the way they welcomed us. Yes, of course, we can be part of this journey for a fairer Australia. Thank you. In the campaign, an Aboriginal political leader participated in a press conference to address the audience and media. He emphasized the historical significance of the moment and highlighted the needs for equality and representation for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. He patiently spoke about the contribution of these communities to the nation's culture, heritage and history. I think this state is the decisive state in this referendum. South Australia has a long history of supporting democratic reforms. This state is going to send a signal to the two big states on the eastern seaboard, New South Wales and Victoria. You'll show the way to the smaller states, Tasmania. We need you, South Australia, to vote yes in this referendum. You've shown the way in the past, and I think you're going to show the way when we come to vote in this referendum. It's important that we focus on the words of the alteration that is proposed in the referendum, the most profound of which is the opening line. And the opening line reads, in recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, as the first people of Australia. That's what we're about. We're about voting to finally put into our constitution this profound recognition of the first peoples of the country. Um, we need volunteers. We, need, we had 23,000 volunteers sign up by last week. The largest sign up to a political campaign 
the country's history. There's never been this many volunteers sign up to YES, and every day and every week we're building on that number. So I want the people of Adelaide and the people of South Australia who really want this to happen to get behind it, sign up as volunteers so that we can have a win that is good for all of us in October. Thank you. The regional political leader, along with other representatives, urged all Australian citizens to cast their votes in favor of the proposed constitution amendment during the October referendum. The power is in the hands of South Australians for this referendum. How our state votes will make or break whether the referendum gets up. And it's wonderful to have all of these representatives from South Australian civil society here today pledging support. And wonderful to have Noel Pearson giving such fire to the campaign here in South Australia. As Noel has just said, South Australia has led the way on so many important reforms and we can do it again. But it is so important that South Australians use their vote for a change that will be for the better and to unite the country. This is an opportunity for us to right the wrongs of the past and move together forward for a united community that represents and understands and listens to the needs of First Nations people. This referendum, the question is really simple. Do we believe it is time for First Nations people in this country to have a say? The power is in the hands of South Australians and I urge everyone, vote yes, make the change and let's be more united going forward. Their message was clear. A yes vote would signify the recognition of the rightful place of Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and Islanders people in the nation's constitution. This recognition would be a vital step towards rectifying past injustice and ensuring a more inclusive and equal future for all Australians. The Ghana people, I acknowledge that today we meet on the lands of the Ghana people and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. What's been so wonderful about this campaign is seeing people in my community, they've never led a box, they've never door knocked, but they're signing up to this campaign because they believe in yes. They are voting yes because we want to recognise they're voting yes because they want to respect the world's oldest living culture. They are voting yes because they don't accept the status quo. A vote for no means nothing changes. But a vote for yes means that we're going to truly listen. A vote for yes means that governments can make better decisions to achieve better outcomes so that Aboriginal people can live better lives. They're voting yes because it is going to unify our country. By voting yes, it's saying something about who we are as a nation and who we want to be. Natalia. Several representatives echoed the sentiment that the campaign was not just about a vote but about acknowledgement the profound connection between different cultures and backgrounds that make up a fabric of Australia. By recognizing the rights of Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander and Islanders community, the country would move towards a more harmonious and united society. We think the best way to progress as a country is to listen to people who are going to receive those services, listen to Aboriginal people, recognise them, design what will work best for them and deliver those things because that's going to make the best impact for the future that's positive for every Australian. And so we really encourage everyone to get behind the campaign and vote yes. Thanks. The campaign event in Adelaide marked a significant milestone in the journey towards recognizing the rights of Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander and Islanders community in Australia's constitution. The engagement of various organizations, the passionate speech of representatives, and the call for unity and inclusive reinforced the importance of the yes vote in the upcoming October referendum.
the event message of respect, equality, and justice and expect to resonate with citizens as they consider the future of their nation and the values it upholds. In 2017, Aboriginal people from all around Australia gathered at Uluru and they issued an invitation to the rest of Australia to join them in recognising their voices, in recognising the importance of truth, and in recognising the importance of treaty making. They said at the time it was important first to start with voice, and of course soon South Australians are going to be asked to make a decision about how whether they will support the idea that first and foremost we recognise the people who have always been in this country that we recognise the people who have always taken care of this land, that we actually afford them a place in our constitution, we think carefully about the vote, and we, we are in absolutely no doubt that this is an enabling mechanism, not just to ensure that the interests of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from across this nation are taken seriously, but it will be good for us all as a community. Indeed, the participation of Australian citizens in the upcoming referendum in October 2023 is crucial for the democratic process and the shaping of the nation's future. Referendums provide an opportunity for citizens to voice their opinions and collectively make decisions on important matters that can impact the country's governance and policies. Let's hope that upcoming referendum sees a high level of participation and thoughtful consideration from Australian citizens leading to decisions that align with the nation's best interests and its democratic principles. A federal election is just a matter of A referendum is not that. It's about the country. Not about left to right, Labour, Liberal, Green to one nation. This is about the nation. And I'd urge them to really focus on the opportunity here. Yes! yes! All right, one more time. Three, two, one. Yes! yes! Awesome. Thank you for your kind attention and support.